Worcester Flint and Dartmouth <laughs> Band. Good morning and welcome to Dartmouth High School's commencement exercises, exercises for the class of 2023. I have a few brief but important safety reminders before we begin today's ceremony. Please note that exits are located directly ahead of you and to your right and left. In the event of an emergency, we ask that you proceed as quickly and orderly as possible to the nearest exit. Thank you. And now at this time, I ask that you please remain standing as the Dartmouth High School a cappella group, the Harmonics, under the direction of Dartmouth High School choral teacher, Mr. Samuel Bianco, performs the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you, Harmonix and Mr. Bianco. You may now be seated. At this time, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the class of 2023 treasurer, Ms. Nina Cunha. Good morning and welcome to the class of 2023's commencement ceremony. My name is Nina Cunha and it has been a pleasure and an honor to serve as your class treasurer for these past four years. I would like to thank my friends, family, and most importantly, my fellow graduates for joining me today to celebrate this important milestone. You made it! <laughs> At this time, I would like to ask everyone to rise and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is now my pleasure to welcome our principal, Mr. Ryan Shane. Thank you, Nina, and go Huskies. For so many reasons, it's impossible to believe that we are here today at the Colin Lynch Activity Center. As I often think, and especially today, I really wish he was here. I must take a quick minute to thank everyone who's here today. Parents, guardians, staff, family, siblings, grandparents, elected officials, and mentors. You all had a specific role getting these students across the stage today. We cannot thank you enough. Just know, without each and every one of you, today does not happen. I would also like to recognize Ms. Angela English for her behind the scenes effort in putting today together. As well as, yeah. As 
as well as DCTV Media and our TV Media students for allowing today's show, uh, ceremonies to be broadcasted so eloquently. Before we begin, I'd like to just add some important details. For those in the audience, I apologize in advance. The students and staff know this, but I talk fast. I will try to slow down, but it might feel like listening to a podcast at about 1.5 speed. To the graduates, this, in this speech, we will talk about hard work, determination, and dedication. This is meant for every one of you. You all spent hours working and studying, and even if someone scored a higher grade on an assignment or a test, that doesn't take away the work you put in yourself. Every diploma today says Dartmouth High School graduate. You earn this, this is your celebration. Next, throughout these graduates high school experience, the pandemic has been talked about a lot. And frankly, I'm kind of done with the word. However, to not mention it is a disservice to the graduates. We need to talk about, acknowledge, and honor their unique high school experience and how our students looked past the pandemic and toward a future of a unified one Dartmouth. And lastly, I cannot promise you I will not cry. Um, as I wrote this, I was referencing Rory's graduation speech and Lorelai saying I will not cry. Anyone that liked Gilmore Girls, I hope you get that reference. <laughs> okay, for real, for real, to the class of 2023. What do you say to a class that has endured as much as, I, as you have? How do I convey three simple rules that I learned at summer camp so many years ago? Be safe, be kind, and have fun. These are the questions I've been asking myself. Do I start with you entering fresh freshman year in a different world? You got to enter DHS, a school that's steeped in tradition and culture. You had homecoming dance, spirit week, pep rally, basketball and hockey games, a one Dartmouth experience. Then Friday, March 13th, 2020 came. The defining moment of your high school experience came only six months in. We were isolated and trying to grasp what the pandemic really was. Safety became our conversation. Being safe also meant take care of ourselves. And at times that was really difficult. But yet you perser pers persevered. You quickly became the generation of determination. It was determination that was your guide. It was determination that got you here today as a Dartmouth High School graduate. 1,179 days ago, sitting here might have seemed impossible, yet here we are today. Unknown obstacles, fears, and new sleep patterns had to be conquered. You all figured it out. Determined not to let the pandemic's impact negatively change you as one Dartmouth. You are safe and determined, a true DHS student. Sophomore year, the year hybrid. The pandemic is still in full effect, but as a community, we are growing stronger. We're working through it. We are back at school. Who would have thought we would have celebrated that five years ago? It took dedication to get through this year. Dedication allowed the ability to switch back and forth between in-person and remote and back again. You had to be dedicated to not miss your classes in one Dartmouth fashion. And when, the, when in school, we had to stay six feet apart and that made everything more complicated. But then again, we were back to being together. We still had to focus on being safe, understanding that sometimes being safe means thinking of others. How do my actions impact the others around me? Do they put me or others at risk or harm? These are questions we had to learn to ask ourselves. And now it's a question that sticks with us in a post-pandemic post world. Asking ourselves to think of others is what brought a level of maturity and when we left our sophomore year. Junior year, you're asking yourself, where is B and C planning? What's it like to be back together again? Was it nerve-wracking, exciting, or a little of every emotion? It seems so long ago, but do you all remember signing into the CAF? That was my crash course in getting to know you all. Junior year was the year of hard work. The hard work had to return. The expectations were being set and risen to pre-pandemic days. Teachers understood that over the previous year and a half, expectations had to be changed while we were adapting to the pandemic. But now the standard was being reset. We knew you had it in you. One Dartmouth. Throughout the pandemic, 
is throughout the year, the pandemic is loosening, and as a community, we are growing stronger. Sports, plays, and band concerts have returned. We got to take our masks off, and don't forget, we ended the year with Junior Banker, or as all you say, JB. It was worth the wait. The hard work only made everything else feel more earned. Here comes senior year. No cell phones. How is that going to work? What is a senior sunrise? How does Sean and the class officers convince us to plan these fun events? The answer was simple. The fun had to return. Friday Night Lights, Homecoming, Spirit Week, Prep Rally, Volleyball Final Four, March, Marching Band's Forgotten Show, the indoor shows, ESPN Half Court sh Shots, Matilda, Mamma Mia, Math Team, Esports, Dartmouth's Finest. What else did you all crush? While the fun was here, the looming question I kept asking myself was, how is this naturally the year that kindness has flourished? How is this the class that had so much taken from them become the class of kindness? 2023 is the class that set the standard, one Dartmouth. Never missing an opportunity to celebrate, we had a unified day and a day of no hate. Also, what I'm trying to still figure out is, how is it possible that no one had to tell this class that you were the gatekeepers of tradition and culture? You had the responsibility of telling and retelling the Dartmouth High School story. And let me tell you, the traditions are strong again at Dartmouth High School because all of you. The pandemic is changing and we are too. So here we are, class of 2023, the class that has been through everything and consistently risen to the challenge. Would I have risen to the challenge like the 239 students in front of me today? I cannot honestly answer that. What I do know is you are amazing. You have a deep perspective. You are the class that is in the history books. In 50 years from now, people will be talking about your high school experience, what you all went through. Of all the questions I needed to ask myself, the one question I did not need to was, how does your high school class give you an advantage? We knew the answer. The challenges you overcame absolutely prepared you for your next adventures. You are going to make the world a better place. All you need to do is take your skills with you. Be safe, be kind, have fun. You can do anything, trust me. You change the community focused onto a pandemic into a community that is united as one Dartmouth. I wish you all nothing but the best. And when you miss us, and you will, and we will miss you, be, don't be a stranger. And one last thing, one Dartmouth. And now I have the distinct pleasure of introducing this year's, introducing a student who is, his four years at Dartmouth High School has left a lasting impression. He challenges me every single day for the betterment of the student body, makes me think critically, and overall brings a smile to my face. Class of 2023, your class president and valedictorian, Mr. Sean Martin. Hello and good morning everyone. My name is Sean Martin. It is an absolute honor and a privilege to stand before you today and speak in front of a truly resilient and unique class. As your class president and valedictorian, I'd like to think I've accomplished a good amount within these walls. Yet arguably, my greatest accomplishment may just be saving us all about 10 minutes in the sweltering gym by condensing two speeches into one. Looking out into the crowd, it's no wonder we all made it here today. We are truly blessed to have had our family, friends, and various other support systems by our side the entire way. And on behalf of the class of 2023, I thank all of you here today for your continued love and support through all of life's challenges along this journey. I'd also like to thank the school committee, newly retired superintendent, Dr. Gifford, and intern superintendent, Mr. Kiley, the administrative team, our principal, Mr. Shea, our wonderful faculty and teachers, as well as everyone else who has played a vital role in shaping us into the graduates we are today. We truly do appreciate the adaptability and dedication each and every one of you put towards ensuring our learning experience was as normal as the unprecedented times we faced would allow. Whether you were teaching us in person or staring at a screen full of bedroom ceilings during the virtual year, each day you showed up and continued to be there for us. And for that, we are truly grateful. 
The teachers at DHS are some of the most amazing people I've ever been privileged enough to meet, and I think we've all been inspired by some teacher along the way. Next up, to my fellow class officers, boy, has it been an adventure. Aiden, Julia, Nina, you guys were the best group of officers I could have asked to experience the last four years of ups and downs with. Most don't understand just how much time and effort you three sacrificed for our class, and we couldn't have accomplished all we did without you. So thank you for the genuine care, loyalty, and everything else that you did for our class. Last, but certainly not least, I'd like to give a shout out to our class advisors, Ms. Grieve and Ms. Kearney. Ms. Grieve, you over there? <laughs> the hard work, countless hours, and attention to detail you put towards our class was truly inspiring. You never stopped or slept until you were sure everything was at its best. And both our class and the Dunkin' Coffee sales next door both thank you. Ms. Kearney, your upbeat, cheerful benevolence never failed to keep us going during all the stress and exhaustion. And I can always count on your attitude to radiate positivity. Both of you were at the very center of our class's success, and I'll truly miss you both next year. And now, to my class, the class of 2023. Wow, just wow. These past four years have absolutely flown by, and it amazes me just how much we've seen. We entered DHS genuinely thinking it was cool to hit the woe, fighting for the last two rows of student section of football games, and having all of high school ahead of us. We've since encountered a freshman year that was cut short, a sophomore year of cohorts and online classes, where unfortunately our Chromebook cameras just kept breaking, and, <laughs> and a slow return to normalcy our junior year. Overall, four years, a pandemic, and a whole lot of 11.59 p.m. work submissions later, here we are sitting at our own graduation. But it's not what we've overcome that makes this class special. It's how we've grown because of it. And I'm not saying it's been easy, but each and every one of us now knows that we're more than capable of accomplishing anything we set our minds to and are willing to work towards. When the pandemic hit, we could have given up, finished up high school quietly, and bought a ticket to hop on the first plane ride out of here, but we didn't. Our class rose above these challenges. We set the bar high. We, couldn't, we continued to improve our community, both in the classroom and beyond. It was our class, the class of 2023, that saw numerous athletic records and deep postseason runs. The band won like their 50th national championship. The first black student union was created. Our orchestra program made history. We had sold out theater shows, various new clubs rose to prominence, and all the while we were still showing up every day and excelling in the classroom. Unless it was first period, of course. In that case, we were probably tardy. Seriously though, you all did that, and you should be beyond proud of yourselves. We are all leaving Dartmouth High a better place than when we arrived here. And looking back, I think that's all any of us could have really asked for. I think, over time, we've all grown to have a newfound appreciation for this place. Not because we necessarily loved Algebra 2 or Chemistry, but because for a lot of us, this is where we discovered who we want to be and formed relationships that we'll value for the rest of our lives. As we leave this place to pursue our own futures, I urge you to prioritize these relationships in your life. There will always be more work to do, another meeting to attend, and seemingly never enough time to do it all. But nothing is more important than having strong relationships with those around you. Some of you will move on to serve in the armed forces, others will go directly into the workforce, and many of you will continue your studies at college next year. No matter what you've decided to direct your talents towards, just know that I am so proud of you, and I can't wait to see all that you'll go on to accomplish. Never stop pursuing your passions, no matter how difficult it may become. The world needs this next great generation of leaders, and you all have that potential. While I was getting all nostalgic over the past week or so, I decided to pull up the speech I delivered to you all four years ago, my freshman election speech, which was written on October 8, 2019. I finished that speech with a great quote, a true intellect, I know. And although I don't want many things I said as a freshman to ever see the light of day again, I stand by this quote. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Class of 2023, I wish you a lifetime of good times. I cannot express to you just how much of a joy and an honor it has been to serve as your class president over the last four years. I wish you all the best wherever life takes you. Congratulations, class of 2023. Truly, congratulations. Thank you, Sean. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the class of 2023 Vice President, Mr. Aiden Mello. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Shea. I'd be remiss if I was to understate the accomplishments and character of our keynote speaker this year, Mr. John Bro. Mr. Bro.
Mr. Bro has been a signifying force at DHS since I was a freshman. In his time as a teacher, coach, mentor, and even a friend when he wasn't making me run laps for showing up late to practice. His work in the field of special education has been incredible, and his mission for unified education, athletics, and life have rung through our school as a proud message of Mr. Bro's unwavering dedication to every student who steps foot into Dartmouth High School. Much of our student and parent audience here today is familiar with Mr. Bro as Coach Bro. From firsthand experience as a four-year member of Dartmouth's winter track team, I've realized it takes an individual of immense fortitude and dedication to those around him to lead and uplift every student who participates in his teams. Coach Bro has inspired hundreds of Dartmouth High students to take initiative and get involved in their communities and to lead by example, just as he has done with us. Many times we like to focus on the bigger picture, and while it would be a disservice to Mr. Bro to understate the work he has done, I believe it is imperative to recognize the importance of Mr. Bro's demeanor and character. Even if it is simply a good morning in the seafloor hallway, he brings his best self to the school, to our school every day, keeping a positive attitude 180 days of the year for hundreds of students and still having the mentality to go above and beyond for our student body goes to show how incredible he really is. Without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce to you all, Mr. Bro. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's an absolute honor to have this opportunity to speak before you today as we're gathered here to celebrate the class of 2023. Not only are we here to commemorate you, the graduates, but everyone in the stands. As these are your family, and your friends that have supported you throughout this educational journey. Congratulations to you all. It's special that we can all come together to celebrate and acknowledge that within these last four years, each of you has grown, faced setbacks, and yet accomplished so much. It's a privilege to have the opportunity to highlight those achievements today. Graduating amongst you are members of our world-renowned band and music programs, who through your dedication, commitment, and passion for music, have succeeded on the highest of levels. Student athletes who through your embracing and fostering of teamwork and camaraderie have brought postseason success back to DHS. We have graduates today who have embraced their individuality, their creativity, and their talent to construct incredible pieces of artwork, perform highly entertaining plays like Mamma Mia, and to enhance our club and activity offerings like the robotics, eSports, and DHS Media TV programming, just to name a few. We also have graduates today amongst us who have thrived academically, all while balancing part-time jobs that have bettered themselves and their families. The class of 2023, you have been truly inspiring. Just last week, I was able to participate in your senior scholarships and awards night, and I was both awestruck and encouraged by your wholehearted and genuine love and support for one another. With each name that got called to this stage, the applause that followed was sincere. And it's that sincerity and the ability to love and support the people around you that will take you far in your life's endeavors. This past year alone, you stood up for what you felt was right. You advocated for those in need. And when you didn't feel like there was something in place to support you, you created it. You should be very proud of your establishment and more importantly, your ability to change the culture here at DHS through your creation of clubs like the BSU. It's also your creation and your founding of clubs and activities like the Comic Book Club, the Fishing Club, and the Best Buddies Program, and so many other newly established activities here at DHS which exhibit your abilities to accept, include, and forge your own path, all of which will bring you success in this post-Dartmouth High world that soon follows. Not that you want to hear the word COVID one more time, but it was your ability to adapt and to overcome the challenges presented through COVID learning, which will undoubtedly bring you success and help you navigate the real world, which can change daily and where adaptability and flexibility are a must. Now, as I conclude, I want each of you to think back to your first few years of schooling. Think back to that elementary school teacher that asked you, what do you want to be when you grow up? That question was meant for you to set a goal. It was meant for you to work towards something that you really wanted to achieve. But it's not always the greatest indicator of reality. 
Now think to these last four years, and I'm sure that someone here asked you something along the lines of, well, where do you see yourself in five to 10 years? To which many of you probably responded with this idyllic answer, something like, I wanna be rich, I wanna be married with kids, have a great job. But once again, it's not the greatest indicator of reality. Someone that I have learned to lean on the most in my life is my mom. She recently told me, life is more like the ocean. Sometimes it stinks like low tide, and sometimes you just have to roll with it like the waves. Just understand that life is not always gonna go the way that you think it will, or the way that you want it to. But it's all of these aforementioned achievements that prove to me that you will be successful in whatever life does decide to throw your way. So in closing, I challenge you, the class of 2023, continue to embrace that individuality and be true to who you are. Don't be complacent, challenge yourself, and continue to be great. Face the challenges that life does decide to throw your way by utilizing your past experiences and the skills that you've learned here at DHS to overcome those challenges. And when that doesn't seem like it's working out, lean on the people that you have around you. For sometimes it's when life gets its darkest that we finally realize that we've had this tribe here around us ready to support and help. And lastly, I implore you to work hard, be committed, and to treat each person that you come across in life with the respect and the acceptance that you would wish to receive. I speak on behalf of the faculty and staff here at Dartmouth High School. We are profoundly impressed of you and all that you have accomplished during your time here at DHS. And we wish you absolutely nothing but the best with all of your future endeavors. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Bro. Please welcome Interim Superintendent of Schools, Mr. James Kiley. Mr. Shea, Dartmouth High School faculty and staff, school committee, family and friends, special guests, and of course, the class of 2023. It's my pleasure to join you today in celebrating the success of our graduates. Your achievements have made a lasting impression on the Dartmouth Public Schools and the community. Reveling in those accomplishments is what today is all about. You deserve every one of the compliments and congratulations you receive. We are very proud of you. In thinking ahead to the rapidly changing world you all face, I recall the quote from Louisa May Alcott, the noted 19th century author, who said, but I'm not afraid of storms for I'm learning how to sail my ship. So as you all sail from Dartmouth High School onto your next adventure, don't be afraid. Be excited, engaged, embrace opportunities that are outside your comfort zone. Learn from them. I wish you all pleasant breezes as you sail your ship onward. And now, Mr. Shea, Chairperson Amaral, school committee, parents, families, and Dartmouth Public School staff, by the authority vested in me as the interim superintendent of the Dartmouth Public School District, I certify that these candidates for graduation have fully satisfied the requirements prescribed by the Massachusetts Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, the Dartmouth School Committee, and the Dartmouth High School faculty. Dartmouth High School Class of 2023, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Kiley. Now, at this time, it is my honor and privilege to introduce the chairwoman of the school committee, Ms. Kathleen Amaral. So my daughter's a hairdresser and had the fortune to style some of you for prom. And she said to me the other night, Mom, be brief. I told my clients that you'd be quick because there are so many speeches, and they just want to get out of there. So brief I will be. I've timed myself. Dartmouth High, class of 2023, I have no doubt that you are up for all the challenges, opportunities, and exciting times ahead. You are an incredible and resilient group, 
and your future is bright. I say this not just as a school committee member, but also as a mom to one of your former Quinn classmates who currently attends a different school. Because over the years, I have seen many of you in action. As I chaperoned field trips, Freedom Trail was my favorite, volunteered at book fairs and helped plan your fifth grade class party. You have grown to be civic-minded, thoughtful, kind, and inclusive. And of course, I can't help acknowledge the many challenges you faced during your high school experience and how you navigated with grace, remaining flexible and adapting to all the changes. And thank goodness your senior year was finally fully back to normal. I firmly believe the way in which you moved past those difficult times is surely representative of your inevitable future successes. I hope you always follow your dreams, believe in yourself, and remember that you can do difficult things. You've already proven that. And I promise you, the best is yet to come. And so, on behalf of the Dartmouth School Committee, I congratulate you, Dartmouth High School's Class of 2023. At this time, I'd like to reintroduce Sean Martin, the class valedictorian, to be the first one to receive his diploma. Back in, everyone. Uh, next to receive their diploma, I'd like to introduce my vice president, Mr. Ada Mello. We only had one practice this year, not two, in case you could tell. <laughs> okay. Julia Farias. <laughs> Nina Cunha. <laughs> Luke Aronson. Jared Abreu. Kendall Adams. Hannah Albernaz. Sean Allen. Kelsey Almeida. Ian Alves. Benjamin Valente. Avery Amaral. Ethan Amaral. Mia Amaral. Quincy Antunes. Trinity Anuncia. Lex Aruda. Ryan Aruda. Zachary Aruda. <laughs> Alexia Ash. <laughs> Kendall Atkinson. <laughs> Kendall Atkinson. 
Lauren Augusta. Adam Avila. Benjamin Azevedo. Nyan Bala. Rishi Bala. Marissa Barnhart. Michael Blazer. Connor Bach. Hunter Bar Ballerino. Matthew Borges. William Bouvier. Samara Bruce. Allison Brunette. Logan Buana Volanta. Cameron Cabral. Courtney Cabral. Giada Cabral. Phoenix Campbell. Christopher Canaria. Serena Carnes. Aiden Carrera. <laughs> Olivia Castro. <laughs> James Cherrier. <laughs> Ali Chester. Jake Chiquito. Ethan Church. Leslie Cisneros. Alexandra Kojukaru. Yamil Cologne. Malachi Colsa. Ryan Capola. Jonah Korea. Logan Korea. Everett Costa. <laughs> Leah Costa. <laughs> Hannah Kudo. <laughs> Ava Crane. Ryan Crowell. Andre DaCosta. Emily Daggett.
Jessica Daggett. Phoenix Dalacosta. Summer Daniels. Jessica De Silva. Carissa De Silva. Madison De Souza. Aya De Barros Andre. Naraya De Bertoli. Nolan Dennehy. Amber Devlin. <laughs> Sophia Dias. <laughs> Kobe Diggins. <laughs> Edward Diogenes. Jordan Dos Anjos. Sydney Downs. Caleb Dragon. Shabongi Duby. Angelina Ducharme. Brian Duggan. John Paul Emile. Megan Emmon. Brian Falcon. Isabel Farah. Benjamin Fernandes. Lance Fernandes. Amber Ferreira. Evan Ferreira. Michael Foley. Matthew Furtado. Zachariah Furtado. Bronson Gariga. <laughs> Nadia Gariga. <laughs> Ella Gibson. <laughs> Sophia Giosa. Lynn Gippa. <laughs> Dylan Gomes. <laughs> Ava Gomez. <laughs> Eleanor Gonzalez. Chase Gilher. <laughs> Talia Gillette.
Ian Hamlet. Piper Harrison. Samir Hijazi. Ava Hobbs. Aiden Howell. Christopher Hughes. Jillian Hughes. Nathaniel Jackwart. Aaron Jaspara. Sean Jenkins. Jack Joquin. Eli Johnson. Kayla Kalamika. Jacob Kearney. Adam Kahn. Jaden Klein. Chase Lackey. Jacob Lancaster. Matthew Larivere. Andre Laszlo. Dylan Lavoy. Isabel Lavoy. Trina Lee. Reagan LeConte. Kevin Leung. Hannah Lima. Lauren Lima. Kevin Lin. Sydney Lopes. Anaya Lopez. Avery McGregor. Joseph Machado. Robert Magner. Gary Magnet. Schaefer Markovici. <laughs> Julia Martin. <laughs> Jaden Martinez. <laughs> Bronte Masuka. <laughs> Nicholas Mastrangelo.
Logan Maddows. Brendan McGowan. Alex Medeiros. Brayden Medeiros. Aiden Medeiros Argy. Corey Mello. Caitlin Mello. Morgan Mello. Evan Moniz. Caden Montero. Connor Murphy. Miles Neto. Fong Win. Fu Win. Lexi Bella Nicolosi. Sarah Nunes. Madupeola Ojuri. Elijah Oliveria. Anna Oliveira. Layla Oliveira. Brandon O'Neill. Aiden O'Reilly. Ethan Pacheco. Selena Pacheco. Molly Palmer. Carlton Park. Hannah Pavea. Gabriela Pereira. Rosanias Pereira. Jordan Perez. Isaac Pimento. Julia Pinta. Stephen Pullen. Victoria Purcell. Madison Pine. Isis Ramos. Holly Raposa. Avery Reed. Sky Roach. Hannah Rosa. Alex Sam. Tate Sanchez.
Sabrina Santiago. Ava Santos. Olivia Santos. Jackie Sasson. Owen Siesca. Lauren Senra. Steven Shrestha. Samuel Shrestha. Christian Silva. Colin Silva. Kyle Silva. Marquise Silva. Derek Samos. Isabella Scorjank. Emma Smola. Duran Smoot. Adam Souza. Jacob Souza. Sydney Souza. Brianna Souza. Evan Souza. Cody Spots. Addison Stanley Moore. Madison Stott. Owen Strecker. Lauren Sullivan. Carissa Tabikas. Amanda Taylor. Caroline Tennyson. Aaron Thatcher. Madison Tibertino. Victoria Vasquez. Janaris Velez. Ethan Violet. Sarah Sylvia. Cohen Walsh. Madden Waskowitz. Casey Watkins. Curtis Whalen. Julie Wheaton. Shelby Wheaton. Graham White.
Ciara Willett. Devin Wilson. Taylor Wood. Amanda Zader. Logan Ziegler. Abby Zuber. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the class of 2023 Secretary Julia Farias, who will lead the class in the ceremonial of turning the tassel. Thank you. Before we say our final goodbyes, the school that gave us all memories for a lifetime, I'll exit off with just one last message. When I was watching the DHS Theater Company's production of Mamma Mia, the song Our Last Summer made me realize it's our last summer of childhood, our last summer of last year of high school, and the last year before we all separated and go our own ways. I can still recall our last summer. I still see it all. I was so happy we had met. It was the age of no regret. Our last summer, memories that remain. Even after we graduate high school, it will forever be a memory we can still relive, still recall. All, all the people we have met, whether it was as young children or adults, have impacted our lives in the Dartmouth community. Our teachers, friends, families, and people we have surrounded ourselves with our entire lives has led as an example that our futures can be successful as long as we put forth the effort and time into it. But in order to achieve this, we must go out and take a chance on the world, holding no grudges, until maybe we finally reach that age of regret and look back at the things we did or didn't do in high school. We take those lessons learned and move on into our future. So let's make our last summer, or our last moments as the class of 2023 memorable. With that being said, I ask the class of 2023 to please rise for the turning of our tassels. Please move your tassel from the right to the left. I'm